For smaller payments up to $500, I recommend the Bitcoin Lightning Payment Network. For larger payments, $500 or more, I recommend using Bitcoin on-chain payments. Okay, I'm going to show you. There's Briefit Dance. She has a permanent QR code that she got at Wallet of Satoshi, out of the Wallet of Satoshi app. And I'm going to show you how we do this and how you can receive payments and then how you can move them to your Strike account. And there you could do whatever you want with them. You can convert them back into fiat. You can send them somewhere else. You can do whatever you want. So you can see here, these are some screen grabs that I'm putting in here. And then I'm going to show you the actual procedure that we did to make all of this happen. So we're going to roll a video here. And we're starting with my folder with some of my Bitcoin apps in it. Going into Wallet of Satoshi, I go in to receive and I go and click on Lightning Address on the right there. And you notice she, that gives us that QR code. That's a permanent QR code that does not expire. I just did a screen grab of it which puts it in my photo album on my iPhone. This is all being done on the iPhone. Okay, so now I'm going to go into Strike and I'm going to create a Lightning invoice to receive a payment. So in effect, I'm going to send the payment from Wallet of Satoshi over here to Strike. So I go to Request and I click on the little B in the upper right there. See that? Then I'm going to put, what it was it for? I'm just going to say Test. And then this is going to allow me to generate a lightning invoice. This is important. It's lightning to lightning that we're doing here. So I'm going to get a lightning invoice just for $2 for this test on strike. I'm going to say next. And there it is. And you see that expires. So I need to do this, you know, fairly quickly. Just it gives me more than a minute, like two minutes. So I got a screen grab of that. Okay. So now I'm going back to the wallet of Satoshi. And I'm going to go to send. And I've got the sats in there. You see I have 47,000 sats. So I'm going to click on the little photo thing in the upper left-hand corner there. And that allows me to browse to that image that I just screen grabbed. And you see there, it immediately knows that QR code is for $2. I clicked on it. I paid. And immediately, you see, I got a notification from Strike that it has received the payment from Wallet of Satoshi. So you can see right there, it's done. That $2 is now in strike. And if I wanted to, I could send that to my bank account from there or do whatever I want with it from strike. So that's a quick way to set up for lightning payments. Now we're going to talk about on-chain Bitcoin payments. And this is using the blue wallet. And we're going to go through this procedure. So when you go into the blue wallet, you can have a lightning wallet you can see there. And you can also have a Bitcoin wallet. See the B symbol in there? That's telling you that's a Bitcoin wallet. And this is what you want to use. You want to click on receive and you're going to see that QR code. Now that is a permanent QR code to receive Bitcoin payments. Unlike lightning, you don't have to generate an invoice that might be temporary. You can get a permanent QR code to receive Bitcoin payments on chain. Pretty cool. And that's for payments over $500, I recommend. So it can be pretty simple for you to set up to receive Bitcoin payments.